Hi everybody, Kate here from Lee's Bird Rants. How are you doing? Happy hump day, middle of the week. Just one more day to go really before the Group C Euro game in Italy um, on Friday, which I'm really looking forward to. Can't wait to see how Woody Nonto is going to get on um, under Roberto Mancini. But slim pickings today, but still, let's get into the back pages. Leeds future in doubt for Loney left on the bench. Harrison tip for New White's contract, your verdict. More Jesse Marsh misfortune and top stat from the weekend that puts Leeds on a par with Arsenal and Chelsea. Let's go. It seems that Leeds United and Loney forward Dan James have reached a bit of an impasse regarding the future of the 25-year-old. The Welsh international, of course, was loaned out to Fulham last September in the hope that, of grabbing some minutes uh, before the Qatar World Cup and also, of course, to bolster uh, Leeds' attacking options. But with his loan period coming to an end this May, um, it remains to be seen whether or not he features in Javi's plans, whether we stay up or not. Bearing in mind... He's only made 13 appearances for Fulham since arriving there in September with only five starts and an average of 33 minutes on the pitch each game. Last season, although he started 31 out of the 34 games he played for Leeds, uh, he only managed four goals and four assists. So he didn't exactly set things alike, did he? And for me personally, he's not really dynamic enough for Leeds if we stay up and if we have the aspiration to finish the end of next season in a really healthy position in the Premier League, which of course should be what we're aiming for. Um, as harsh as it sounds, we cannot afford, as it's becoming increasingly obvious, to be carrying passengers. Um, so for me, I don't think we should we should keep him. Um, happy for him to leave along with the other dead wood at the end of this season. Although it could be argued that a few players are beginning to have a little bit of a resurgence. Um, but consistency, isn't it? We need to see how, we, how they all do. And things need to be reassessed, hopefully, for a rebuild in the summer. Now, love him or hate him. And I don't hate anybody, but I don't love him either. Harry Redknapp has waded into the Jack Harrison form debate. Leads all over reporting that the former Spurs boss has elevated Jack to next level status, whatever that means. Now, the website itself stated this. 2023 has seen a major dip in Harrison's performance, struggling in the narrow system under Jesse Marsh, but he's since been revived under Javi Gracia. The Spaniard's use of width has brought more out of the 26-year-old who's enjoying a different role, registering two goals and two assists in the four games Gracia has managed so far for Leeds. So this is what Redknapp said. Jack Harrison is always a threat for Leeds. I'm a big fan of him. He's got a real eye for goal, usually with both feet as well. He took his goal against Wolves very well and he's a vital player in this lead side. I think there's more to come from Jack and I can see him taking his game to the next level. He's absolutely right about the foot thing. Uh, nine of Jack's 19 Premier League goals have come off his right foot. But what do you think of what he's saying? And what exactly does he mean by taking his game to the next level? Is he implying that things are begun, uh, finally beginning to click for Jack under Gracia and therefore he'd feature in the summer rebuild if we stay up? Or does he mean that taking his game to the next level would involve a transfer somewhere? Um as I've just said, I'm a big believer in consistency. For me, if Jack continues his current run of good form, and let's face it, two goals and two assists in the four games Gracia has been in charge of isn't too shabby. Uh, so if that were to continue until the end of the season and he's a proven asset, um, then obviously keeping keeping him should be considered. Um, should the opposite happen? lack of consistency we go down obviously he's going to be off but let me know what you think uh, do you think as leads all over do that have he's starting to get the best out of Jack um, do you think that he suffered under Jesse Marsh's um, system and that's why he had a dip in form um, and ultimately do you think that if, if he continues like this he should stay or is his time come to uh, an end at Leeds and should he move on 
Let me know what you think. Really, really interested to hear about that. Now then, Leeds' top defensive asset, Max Vober, has taken a side swipe at sacked boss Jesse Marsh. The US coach, known for his chaotic, high-press, leaky defensive style and his, let's face it, hysterical touchline antics, was described by Vober as very emotional. The Austrian said this was in stark contrast to new boss Javi Gracia, who he described as calm and matter-of-fact. He said Gracia has, had encouraged the back line to not always push forward, but to defend in their own half as well. This was echoed by pundit Ian Wright, who said that Gracia had provided stability and the team now had a togetherness which they didn't have before. Let me know what you think about that. Do you think we're more cohesive under Javi? Do you think this sort of quiet, understated um, way of man management is 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 doing the trick um they certainly seem to be more um together for me um you know side before self and all that and i saw more flashes of that on saturday against walls um i don't know about you let me know what you think about that and finally rasmus christiansen's goal against walls on saturday made him get this the 14th different player to score a goal for leeds this season a figure only matched by Arsenal and Chelsea. Quite an achievement. Out of the three clubs, Arsenal have found the net 66 times, Leeds 35 times and Chelsea just 29 times. It's a really important stat for Leeds this, isn't it? Because with our main goal scorer, Rodrigo, coming back from injury, um, it's reassuring to know that there are actually um, you know, 13 other people who could potentially score a goal in our team. So let's have a look at who they are. Well, aside from Christiansen scoring his first goal for the club last weekend, Mark Rocker scored his only goal for Leeds in the 5-2 defeat away at Brentford. Sam Greenwood scored his only goal for Leeds against Bournemouth in November. Junior Furpo scored his only goal for the club in the clash against Southampton at Ellen Road for that much needed win. Liam Cooper also scored for Leeds in their 4 3 thriller at Bournemouth. Luke Ayling scored his first goal of the season against Wolves uh, last Saturday, a replica of exactly what he did uh, last year. Brendan Aronson got on, got on the score sheet against Chelsea last August. Pascal Stroik scored two goals for Leeds this season, once against Palace and then in the home defeat against City. Luis Sinistera scored two goals, one against Everton, which ended in a one-all draw, and the other in the 5-2 Brentford defeat. Willie Nonto, another two goals, one in the draw against Man U and the other in the 2-2 draw against the Hammers. Bamford, another two goals. Jack Harrison, one goal uh, against Brighton and Wolves, one at Wolves on Saturday. Cree Somerville, four goals this season, most memorably the late winner at Anfield. And last but not least, of course, 11 goals go to Rodrigo. Only six goals, sorry, only six players have more league goals than uh, Rodrigo this season, while his goals per 90 minute tally is only bettered by Haaland and Kane. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, really, on paper, we should be we should be scoring like right, left, and centre. But it seems to have eluded us up to now. Um, let me know if you think we've got enough foul firepower to stay in the Premier League. I mean, goals are seriously what we've been lacking, aren't they? Lack of sort of being clinical in the box. But that seemed different on Saturday against Wolves, didn't it? Have we turned a corner? Are we likely to see more goals in the coming matches? I hope so, because uh, we're going to need to score a few more if we're going to stay up. Let me know what you think. Have a fantastic Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow for some more back pages. Have a good one. Bye bye.